Hello guys, this is Death Dealer. welcome back to another episode on the Vulture SMP server. This is episode 13 and today what I have planned is we're finally going to get a mining system operational in this area. Now where was it on here? It was there, right there. Okay. So we will clear up a partner board. But yeah, instead of running back to spawn every time we need to go mining, because I haven't mined in a very very long time, it's been maybe five or six episodes since I've mined something. So yeah, I think it's about time because we're running out of resources very quickly with like redstone, we need cobblestone. Now that's something I didn't think I'd ever say, cobblestone for pistons and all that. So that's why we need to get this operational. Now I've already got a design, but before we go and check it out, I'd just like to say a few things. Yes, of course, I still have a cold. You'll be able to tell with my voice because I've I need to talk slightly different because I can't breathe out my nose. So, sorry about that. I'll be recording about, say, 15 hours after the last episode went out. So yeah, nothing much has happened. I put some of the items that we're selling in our shop in. I haven't, the only thing I haven't put in is the string. Probably because I clean forgot. Yeah, anyway, let's go over to our redstone testing world and check out this mining system design. Okay guys, so this is the design. Very simple really. What we'll have is we've got a design what is following the same theme as the base, but with a few different things such as this in the floor with hoppers on there's some carpet. I'm not too sure about the carpet colour just yet. But yeah, it's to stop you walking in to the hopper. So that's why we'll have it. But yeah, basically what happens is you have a strip. Have these strip means these will be open. And when the, once you've finished mining down the strip, you come back and you close it. The light goes on and that tells you that strip's finished. Then you can come and drop all your items in here, which will go to a redstone elevator, like a water item elevator. Take it up to the... What would we call that? The... Refinement area. So basically we're going to have some auto smelters, some storage for our minerals, old diamonds and all that stuff. And we may put that into the main storage system. I'm still contemplating whether to do it or not. But yeah, the only thing holding us back with this design is the iron. Because we don't have a steady supply of that. And the sea lanterns, but that doesn't matter. We can put glowstone in there for now. And then replace it when the time comes. But yeah, the iron problem. Well, I'm going to do a, a few like a mining session after we've built the system, see if we can get some iron, and I'm going to start doing the initial planning for the iron farms, which we're going to be putting around the mob spawn. We're going to have three in total, but to do that, we're going to take a blocks. This is for the farms. We need to get blocks. We need to get villagers. So we need to get villager trading and breeding up and running. Um, a tree farm for the wood for dolls. and that should be it, then we should have a plentiful supply of iron, but that won't be for a few episodes yet. That's just the initial planning which I've done in my head. So anyway, let's go and gather resources for this system, and we'll come back when we're ready to build. So guys, I thought, in this clip of course, I thought I would show you where I've been getting all my sand and sandstone. Now this is a desert here as a coordinates, so if anyone in the server is looking for this desert, it's directly north of spawn, spawns that way. So yeah, directly north, I just use a boat, there's no portals or anything around here, I think there's a portal over there somewhere about, say, maybe 200 blocks, but, yeah. So I've been the only one that's been using this desert, I, if, as you can see, I've mined away, or we'll dug away the sand, this is an area with sand still being dug out, and then I go for the sandstone, and also sandstone mine in here. And yeah, it's been very good, this is hip keeping my sandstone supplies up and that's where I got all the sand for the guardian farm thing we're going to do eventually and over there there was a husk where is it? Yeah, let's go and check it out uh, yeah I thought a few of these are slightly taller than the normal zombies I haven't been hit by them so I don't know if they do any effects did it despawn? must have yeah. Well anyways, I'm going to get back to base and we still need to dig out the entire area. 
but we're going to put this mining system. I should have all the rest of the resources there. This was the only thing I needed to go and grab, so I guess let's go and get that done. Okay guys, so we're back at base, we've got all of the materials and that we need and if you want to know where we're putting it, we're in this room that we built a few episodes back and we're coming down this pathway and it's going to be in here. Right now, this isn't going to be an open pit forever, we're going to put an elevator in here eventually with a nice kind of floor, I think it's going to be one of those piston ones. So yeah, we'll meet up with the floor nicely. But yeah, it's going down here and I've already mined down to the Y value that we need. And that should be it. I think we're going to do a time lapse of this. Because we haven't done a little time lapse in a while and I think, oh well, why not? Because I'm going to be doing a mining challenge later on anyway and I'll just make the episode a bit longer and you'll see how I do this. So. Yeah, let's go on with it, shall we?
Okay, so this is it so far. It's looking good. I'm not going to bother time lapsing the rest of it. I'm just going to build the rest of it off camera. But yeah, we've got three on each side. We're not going to bother with the hoppers in the middle right now because that's a little bit expensive for us. For us. But yeah, this is looking good. It's a little bit dark in here. Like there's a mob could spawn there. So that may be a little, that may be a problem, but it shouldn't be too bad. We can work out something with the lights. But yeah, I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to work in this off camera a bit, and we'll come back when we've got some more of the mining system. Okay, guys. So we've got the rest of the mining area constructed. This is not the end of it. We're going to be doing a lot more in future when it when it's needed. So I won't expand this area until we've used each of these shafts and in between this episode and whenever we work on this again because next episode we'll have something else planned I'll get the doors in, levers and I'll put in the elevator which we're going to feel it's got to use a piston translocation bug So we're in the basement of a lot of different redstone contraptions so hope you enjoy and also I'll see if I can get enough iron for the hoppers here and then for the well I don't actually need any iron for the item elevator and I've started planning where we're going to send the items after this because we want to try and well since we're building this mining system now and we're going to be using it it's probably a good idea to get the refinement area up and running pretty soon so that we aren't putting stuff everywhere in different chests and stuff and making a mess yeah but you know I was going to do a um, one hour mining session this episode but I've decided I'm going to do it in between this episode and wherever we're back here again due to the fact that um, I have to try and get this out today even though I released one yesterday I need to get it out today because tomorrow I could have released it tomorrow but that wouldn't make sense because we're doing a certain thing but anyway before we go I would like to take the mining thing off of the to-do list and I suppose we can also take the ender chest with us we'll leave the crafting bench down here another thing we're going to be putting around the base soon is little hidden crafting benches so you'll see a button on the floor you'll press it and then a crafting bench will pop up and then you press it again and it'll disappear once you're finished which will probably be a nice addition. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to put in this wall though, because I was going to have a little, a little entranceway into the refinement area over there, but instead I might put it on this side. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm, I still really like this parked ice theme. It was worth it. Okay, so we're nearly here. Still haven't done any more work in that. At least we don't have the cobblestone problem anymore. Yeah, there we go. That is that off of the to-do list. And as always, if you like this episode, make sure to hit our like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time.